Coding Made Easy. Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Peter, aka Coding Made Easy, coming to you with your next Java Made Easy tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to continue learning about if statements. So, um, we learned about the or and the and, which is the two common um, um, identifiers uh, in our if statements, but we have to learn about our comparisons. So we learned about the greater than or equal to sign, right? You cannot invert it, it goes in this order. So greater than or equal to says, okay, if the number is greater than or equal to that variable, then whatever, do something. So even if you don't even have to put a variable here, you could say, okay, if 80 is greater than or equal to 80, then do something. But most likely you won't do that because that makes no sense. Um, and if you were to put, and and we have the less than or equal to, so it's the complete opposite of this. So it says, okay, if it's less than this number or equal to this number, do something. And we have the equal sign. Now, why is it two equals? Well, if we do equal, one equal, it's just like the assignment operator here. Uh, Java doesn't know what you, what, which one to distinguish from. So we put the two equal signs to, the two equal signs means a comparison. So we're comparing to see if they're equal. The first, the, only, the single equal sign is just an assignment. So we're assigning this value to this. Two equals means a comparison. We're comparing this side to this side to see if they're equal. Now, like I said with the switches before, I just want to show you that the the if statement is it only returns a true or false value. If it's true, it runs what's directly below it, and if it's false, then it doesn't run what's directly below it. So if I was to erase this and I said okay, if true, then it would run it, or if I said if false, it wouldn't do it but um just to show you that now let's say for example we want to do uh, um say a, a do a bunch of things in our if statement this if this method of doing it it will only run the thing directly below it and anything after it won't run it in the if statement it will run it after it executes the if statement but say I, say for example i said that if if they got an honor roll if they got between an 80 and 100, you say it says you want to honor roll, and I wanted to print something else that says congratulations. Now, if I was to run this program, uh, let me scroll down. Uh, sorry about that, but no matter what I put, if I put 30, or oh, I put the or should be and. So let's run this again. So if I was to put 30, it wouldn't say the honor roll, but it still says congratulations. But we want this to be a part of the if statement. So only if they got the honor roll do we want it to say congratulations. So how do we do this? Well, we use the braces. Like I said before in the first tutorial, how the braces are important. So we have the braces. So now if you want to run two one, one, if you want to run two or more statements after an if statement then you will put the braces and anything within those braces if this statement is true it will run every single thing within that brace okay so if we were to run this again and we put the value 30 nothing happens and we rerun it again and we put the value 98 then it says you got on a row congratulations congratulations so another thing that we um, another so we learned about greater than or equal uh, greater than or equals to we add the less than or equal to we learn about the equal to and uh, we can we we also have the not equal to so we're gonna say if grade is not equal to 80 then we're gonna display you got the honor roll so the the uh, exclamation mark stands for not so it says not if grade is not equal to 80 then run directly what's there um what's directly below so if we put the value 80 it doesn't run it but if it's not equal to 80 so if it's equal to 90 it says you got on a roll congratulations okay um so the not operator can be used for a bunch of different things um for example if we use the boolean and we say uh, boolean we have a test bool 
and we say the test boolean is equal to true so we can do uh we can do something we can say okay if not test boolean then run this so what does this mean it says okay if boolean is equal to false then um run this and then if we run this we can say if boolean is equal to true then whatever uh we could also do if it's equal to false or we could say if it's equal to true but remember the if statement is uh remember before how i said the if statement can take a true or false value so remember variables are just placeholders so when we say test bool it's going to say it's going to replace test bool with the value true so it's going to say okay if true then run this which it is true if we put the not symbol then it's going to say okay if not true then run this if this was set to um um false or whatever then it would say yeah not false so anyways i didn't want to really confuse you about that but it's going to say okay if it is not if it is not a true statement then you can do certain things with pooleans but um don't really get too deep into that we'll, we'll look into that more into that in the future so we learned about the not symbol the equals we learned about less than or equal to and greater than or equal to so now we're going to be learning uh, about the else and the else if quickly before this tutorial ends. And um, let's say, for example, we want to show the letter grades uh, for, for, for whatever reason. So we're going to say, okay, if grade is uh, greater than or equal to 80, then we are going to say system.out dot print line you got an A then we're going to say okay we're going to use the else keyword so like we said the if returns a true or false value so if this value is false we're going to check another condition so we're going to say okay else if grade is greater than or equal to 70 then we're going to copy this, paste this in here. Then we're going to say else if grade is greater than or equal to 60. Paste that and we'll just change this to a B. Well, this is based on the Canadian grade system. So this is how it works. And we'll say else if grade is greater than or equal to 50. And we're going to say you got a D. And we're going to say else, um, you got an F. Um, so how does this work? So it says, okay, it checks. If this is not true, uh, if this if this is true, the way else's work, or else and else's works, it says, okay, if this is true, these are all linked. These are all linked together. So if this is true, it ignores every single thing below it. It's like, I'm just going to execute this. I'm not going to do that. And then it's going to say, okay, if this is not true, I'm going to check the next condition. If that's not true, I'm going to check this one. Okay, this condition is true. So let's write this, what's directly below it, and then let's ignore everything else everything else below it. So that's how the else ifs work. So if we were, let's say, for example, we made these all ifs. These are not linked to each other. So what would happen so what would happen is if I, for example, set F11 and I was to run this program um, and I said, okay, uh, I said 90, it will say, okay, you got a, you got an A, you got a B, you got a C, you got a D. And because it's, it, they're all true, 90 is greater than or equal to, is greater than 80, is greater than 70, greater than 60, and greater than 50. So it's going to print all of them. But what happens when we put else in front of them? So if I was to run this program, and I was to put 90, it says you got an A. So it says, okay, this statement is true. All these are linked, but since this is true, we're going to ignore all of these after. 
So the else if say okay else if the one above it didn't happen then we will do the statement and just like with else ifs we can put the brace if we want to do multiple statements and the else ifs so we could do that as well. So the else is saying okay if all else fails so if all of these fail let's just run this thing and you don't need to have an else you don't need to have else ifs you could even um get rid of all the else ifs and just put an else so if it's not greater than an 80 you'll say you got an a else you'll say you get an f it doesn't matter you can choose whether you want to have else ifs or else whatever but an else just means if all else fails run me that is how the else works so anyways that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it if you guys were confused don't be afraid to comment below and i will make another tutorial on if statements if it confused you and i hope i now clarify any questions you have so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe and another video will be posted in three hours